heavenly gifts. Jesus explains, My servant and the servants of the church, the right and wrong pasture for the soul. March 25th, 1844. If the lambs are located on a good pasture, they thrive. Their wool becomes abundant and tender, and they grow fat, cheerful, and strong. But if the lambs tread upon a bad pasture, they do not thrive. Their wool becomes poor and shaggy, and they become thin, sluggish, and weak. But how does this happen? I give the lambs a good, abundant, and rich pasture. Yet they run with great fondness to a place where the pasture is bad, and they eat the bad grass and the tumbleweeds there, to make sure that they don't grow fat before me, the lord of the flock. And what difference is there between one, whom I myself have anointed with my hand and my spirit, to be a true servant, and those who are anointed only through the ceremony of the world, but have never felt and tasted my hand and spirit. And yet the latter are considered superior to the one who is anointed by me with my spirit. What is this? How is this to be understood? Who then are those for whom love is a sin? And who is he who restores love as the only law? and gives it to the one anointed by the Spirit. And yet the hearts burn before those who are not allowed to love, because the ceremony has anointed them to be servants of the church. But before me they burn much less, and even lesser before the one who is anointed with the Spirit of love. That is a thing that does not taste good in my mouth. And look, this is what I desire, that the lambs should remain upon the good pasture, that they may soon bring me wool, so that I might be clothed therewith in their hearts, in which the flame flickers strongly back and forth, whereby I am feeling cold in my still undraped state, if the flame turns away from me towards those who are anointed by the ceremony. Truly, I don't like being naked, for that's what I was on the cross. This is not only the case for the daughter of whom you speak, my servant, but rather this is valid for all people. But the daughter you are thinking of shall, out of true love for me, take this to heart as well, together with her siblings, and she shall not praise too much what is not pleasing to me. But instead, she shall satiate herself on the fat pasture of my love. Then a better wool will start to grow for sure. The wool, however, is a living faith, which is the light originating from the flame of true love. And love is the eternal life. This I wish to Mary H., as well as to everyone else today, always and forever. Amen.